Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. I am back with another video. So in this video, we will understand how to find all possible solution of a given string. Suppose we are having one string A, B, C or we can say A, B, C, D. Suppose this is our string. So the possible substring of this A, B, C is A and A, B first two character and all three characters. Okay, A, B, C and then V and then V, C and after that C and there is no character after C. Okay, so all sub, so we can say here all the possible substring of A, B, C is A, A, B, A, B, C, B, B, C and C. Okay, so I hope you understand this, how to find out the substring of this given string. Okay, so let me open my Visual Studio. So here I have already opened my launched by, so here I have, or let me open my Visual Studio here. So here we need to create one class. So right click on this project and then click on add new item or you can directly click on class. So we will give the name find substring. Okay like this and you can give any name but make sure you have to give proper name so that you can understand if you want to search your program in future okay so we have created this class find substring okay here we need to write our logic okay guys this is very simple program if you know how to play with loop so here all the logic running behind the for loop okay so here we need to create a main method svm double tap okay so here our main method is created now we need to create one string variable here so let me create one str string variable and then we have to ask the input from the user so that we can write console dot write line console dot write line here you can ask like enter a string then this string we have to assign to the str variable this str variable okay to assign this string to str variable what we have to do is uh, just console dot read line okay console dot read line now here our pro, uh, first step is done in the second step we have to play with the loop okay so here we need two for loop okay so create one for loop okay so inside this for loop we need to create another loop okay i will tell you step by step so first understand int i is equal to 0 and i less than str is nothing but about this uh, this string variable dot length length is nothing but suppose if i am providing here abc so length of this abc will be 3 okay and then i plus plus okay guys now same way we have to create another for loop inside this loop okay before that make sure uh, wh whatever the output we will get we need to store that output into some string okay for that i am going to use here a string builder guys if you don't know what is the difference between a string and a string builder so i have already made one video on that topic so you can click on the i card link and you can watch that video okay so here uh create a string builder string builder and i will give the name as new string okay new string is equal to new substring new string builder okay now this is done now we need to create one for loop and then suppose int i can say here uh, j is equal to i and then j less than and uh, we can say here string dot length same thing dot length okay and then j plus plus now we can say new string actually we need to append our output here so new string dot append actually whenever we will use string builder whenever we will use string builder we have to use append method okay so append here what i have to append here A string of str of j the value what whatever we will get here okay so the j value we have to uh, append here okay now what we have to write here console dot write line uh, i will say write not write line okay so we will get output like this a a b a b c b b c c okay so that's why i'm going to write here write and uh, i will say string uh, sorry here i need to print new string whatever the value we will get here okay so new string okay and then what i have to do here we need to give some space so that's why i'm putting this okay because after this a we need to give a space after a b we have to give a space 
so that's why uh, i use this okay now our program is done now what i have to do is uh, this is done and now after this we have to write console dot read line console dot read line so that we can see our output carefully that we will get the right output or not so this program is done now we have to run this program okay so before going to run this program first we need to set the startup object so startup object will be find substring so find substring now this is done now we have to run this program now we can see our output like suppose i am providing here a b c let's see our output here our output is a a b a b c b b c c okay suppose if i will uh, provide another value here uh, suppose i will provide a b c d then our output will be a a b a b c a b c d b b c b c d c c d d okay let me check with uh, another string suppose here gautam okay now you can see the output okay so like this we can print or we can find our all the possible substring like this okay so guys this is very simple program okay but logic we have written here only so the, we can say two for loop is very important to understand here let me tell you how this loop work how both these loop work so suppose we are having this string a b c okay so let me run this program i will provide here input as a b c a b c so the length of this system will be three so here the length will be three we can see length is three and we, we are starting from zero so in the zero index we are having a okay and we are running this loop i less than str dot length so it means our loop will go till two because in the zero index we are having a in the first index we are having b second index we are having c like this and see the second loop here in the second loop we are starting from j is equal to i i is nothing but this first loop value so first loop is starting from zero and then j less than string dot length str dot length so length is nothing but three we are having three so a string value we are having a b c here now j value is i i what we are having zero zero index in the zero index we are having a so in the string of j we will get a okay so you can see here now if we will see here a string we can see here value of new string is a okay now we have printed a so we can see a here now again f10 now this loop will run when this con uh, condition is satisfied when this condition is failed this loop will jump here and it will jump here okay now again f10 now we are having i value is one okay so i value is one so it will start from a and b so it will start from zero to so here we are having j value is one so what we are doing here we are just appending this string so we already have in the new string a so it will append b so the new string will be a b we can see a b and now we are printing that string and we can see this string is printed okay like this and let me move further here now j value will be three and i value as we already have so j value is two sorry j value is two and we are now in the two here in the index of two we are having c character so it will append c in a b okay so f10 now you can see the new string is abc so we are printing here abc and we can see the output is abc okay so this loop is completed now our controller will jump here let's see f10 okay this condition is failed so it will not go inside this loop let me check okay now control jump here and now again it the controller will go here i plus plus so now i value is zero so now in the next step i value will be one i plus plus now you can see the i value is one now again this loop will work accordingly as i already discussed so let's continue and we can see the output okay a a b a b c b b c and c i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any doubt in this video you can ask me through comment okay guys let's see you in the i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can follow me on facebook twitter and linkedin this is my blog url you can check it out guys if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment please provide your feedback thanks